There are three reasons why the world needs biofuels. Agricultural job development, energy security, and carbon dioxide mitigation. Enzymes are a very integral part of, of this technology succeeding. And yes, there's still some risks of, uh, to the success of this industry, but it, it certainly will fail if we don't deliver on the improvements in technology that are needed. We're, we're really looking for alternatives to petroleum-based feedstocks to do chemical synthesis and, and biofuels. If we can use a renewable, sustainable material, a biomass, or an agricultural uh, feedstock. Instead of these old carbon-based uh, feedstocks, that will help reduce the effect that we're having on the climate today. We can do it now and not in 10 years. We're using renewable raw materials that are much more sustainable and will have a much cleaner and beneficial impact on the environment. Biomass-based uh, materials are, of course, sustainable because they're renewed every year. Plants. They grow again and can be reharvested. This new movement that's going on today on sustainability and uh, renewable fuels, it really plays into the strengths of Genicor. The heritage of our biomass effort uh, goes back uh, uh, in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. In terms of the cellulose research, actually, Chenenko has been at the forefront for more than 25 years. So we've brought a lot of that history and experience into our development of enzymes and cellulases for this industry. Uh, we have a core competency that drives everything within the company, which is the design and operation of the cell factory. And it's this core competency that distinguishes us from other companies that are using the tools of industrial biotechnology today. We were uh, doing industrial biotechnology before industrial biotechnology had a name. Accelerase is one of the most advanced technology platforms that Genicor's ever developed. And it's a big developmental step in the cost and the dose and the type of formulation that we use from previous cellulase products that were developed for other industries. Degrading waste plant material is a very complex and difficult thing to do. Uh, this happens every day in the forest, but it happens over years and years, and now we need it to happen over a day or two days. Cost and performance have been the limitations in the past. We have succeeded at low cost to include a number of different enzyme activities that are necessary, all of them, to convert into, into something that can be fermented to ethanol. So these products are now cheaper and they have a broader range of activities, so they're more effective. We've tested over 300 different pretreatment uh, and biomass substrate combinations, whether it's, it's woody substrates, uh, hardwoods, softwoods. Corn stover, corn cob. It's a switch grass, like the muscansers. Paper pulp. The gas from sugar cane. And then you've got another list of different pretreatment combinations that can be used with those different substrates. We're able to break down those structure. We are able to get all the sugars we need and then ferment those sugars into, our, into the ethanol. Then it can fill your, your cup. I'm going to be showing Sellers Duet, our flagship product here at Genencore. It's designed for lignocellulosic biomass conversion. Um, it has a complex of cellulase and hemicellulose activities. To demonstrate that, here we have a pretreated um, hardware pulp. It's a craft pretreatment, so it's an alkaline pretreated. So, and there's no enzyme addition to this just yet. As you can see, it, it's pretty dry material, um, still solid. After a few hours with the initial addition of Sellers Duet, you can see some degradation of the various uh, carbohydrates. This particular substrate has both cellulose and hemicellulose, so it utilizes all the enzyme activities we have in our product. After 24 hours of scarification, you can see that um, there's complete liquefaction here. There is no visible solids anyways. At the same time, all the complex long-chain sugar polymers have been reduced and degraded to monomeric sugars. In this case, uh, the main products are glucose and xylose.
Uh, we're all about discovering really important and cool things from nature, but more importantly from the discovery is translating that discovery into meaningful products that will have a big impact and provide solutions to our customers. Many customers uh, like Genicore due to our flexible approach to the markets. The markets have evolved. The appetite for solutions driven by industrial biotechnology is much bigger now than it used to be 20 years ago. I just got done with Gen Core's discussion on the accelerase line of enzymes. We launched the, the first enzyme targeting the hydrolysis of, of biomass. Genicor is highlighting a strategy of partnering with, with people. They bring a lot beyond just the technology, uh, just, just so much expertise and credibility and stability. I think it's pretty promising what I was hearing from Genicor. And I think that's really important for, uh, for this industry as it grows up, to have good partners like that. What gets me here is, is that uh, the caliber and the type of people that are here at Genincor are some of the smartest and brightest and most dedicated people that I've ever worked with in my whole life. One of the biggest things that attracted me to Genincor is the work culture and environment. I like getting up and coming to work in the morning. I'm anxious to come to work in the morning. It's hard to leave in the afternoon. We have so many challenges that we still want to address. When we're looking at these things that we're trying to do, uh, we just see huge opportunities to improve the way things have been done in the past. We say that our destiny is to have a significant impact on the sustainability of every household around the world.